Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this East special, I'll be demonstrating how to create this basket weave two tier cake. I have my 7 inch on a 12 inch cake board, applied on some buttercream to stick it to the board, and going in with my vanilla hybrid buttercream. The recipe for this is linked in the description box below. Create a crumb coat around the whole cake. This is just a thin layer of buttercream to trap in any crumbs. Clear up the sides with your bench scraper and the top with your um, spatula. Let it set in the fridge for at least 10 minutes and then pop on your last layer of frosting. I've coloured mine terracotta and I'm just smoothing it down and removing the lip of frosting. And it's important to colour the buttercream before you pop on your um, basket weave uh, as if you have any space in between you won't be able to tell because the same colour buttercream is underneath. So with your basket weave draw a nice long line from the bottom of the cake to the top and then create little panels one centimeter off of each side of that um, row that you've created. Then go up covering the end of your panels and then start again this time starting in the space in between the previous two panels and try to keep it as straight as you can. And continue this pattern all the way around the cake. You can make your panels even larger if you like, I just did one centimeter on each side you can make them a lot longer as well and they'll create a different effect again. Meet it up at the end of the pattern. Again, try to keep it straight if you can and then pop it into the fridge to rest. In the meantime, doing the exact same thing with my 5 inch cake. There is a 5 inch cake board underneath this 5 inch cake as well because it's our top tier. And follow the exact same steps. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload a new video every Tuesday. Pop that into the freezer to set, and in the meantime, we'll dust our Cadbury chocolate eggs with some edible luster dust. I've used Champagne Gold by Creative Cake Decorating. You could also use Rolcom. tends to work pretty well as well um, on chocolate. Once you've dusted all your chocolates, it's time to assemble our tiers. So make sure there's um, cake dowel, full wooden dowels in your bottom tier to support the weight of our top tier. Stick it on for buttercream, and then I have a grass tip with some green buttercream filling in the space in between the two tiers. For a different effect, you could use a leaf tip instead of the fur tip or the grass tip. Just for interest, adding a little more at the bottom as well and covering the top of my cake completely. So from the very edge, working my way to the center of the cake. Once you've filled that in, you can start decorating your frosty, your um, cake. I'm just popping these eggs into the fresh frosting so it's all sticking to the grass. And you can pop them in any which way. Adding a few to the very top of my cake as well in the center. And then I'm going to create some little flowers for added decoration. These are blossom plunger cutters. You can plunge them out as is or you can plunge them directly into your frosting which I find is a lot easier. But that all comes down to personal preference. I've added some in pink as well. You could keep adding more colours to make it look as festive as you like. I just stuck to these two. And then I added a couple more details like the edible gold pearls, just a few little ones in the grass, and some larger ones as the middle section for the flowers. To create the little bunny butts, I've got some white fondant, rolling it into a bowl, rolling an even smaller piece again and sticking it onto the very top of that bowl. To make the feet, grab some fondant and pinch it between your hands so you have a thick section and a thinner section at the bottom and then apply that onto your bowl of fondant. You can attach it to some water if it's not sticking. 
And for the little pores, I've got some pink fondant, rolling it into miniature little balls and then sticking it directly onto that shoe or onto the foot. Create as many bunny butts as you like. The more the merrier. And then push them into your frosting. Okay, create a festive Easter tutia cake with the basket weave and the pretty little bunny butts. The style of cake with the, um, the basket weave can be used in many, many, many other occasions as well. For example, if you did like a basket weave and then a bouquet of buttercream flowers. So I hope you guys give this one here a go. If you do, tag me two photos. I would love to see how your ones come out as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.